Hey everybody, welcome. We're back out here at the Ranch Remodel. Now, I'd love to take you inside because we got some real exciting stuff going on in there. But you're gonna have to tune into some subsequent videos there to check out what we're doing inside. It is definitely worth the trip. But today, I want to concentrate on what we're doing outside here. We're not totally complete, but we're moving along in the right direction. So one of the things I wanted to point out when I started out on this uh, project, and working with Joy and Bruce, one of the things that was off limits was the original portico. And we're gonna to flash to a quick picture and you can understand why I wanted to make that go away and why we needed to do something there. But it needed a little bit of convincing. So part of being an architect is being the salesperson. So what I did was I went to Bruce and Joy and said, listen, I know you guys like the original portico, it's working for you, we don't wanna add it to the budget all of those things, but give me one shot. Give me one shot to show you what the potential is that we could put out there, make it a little more light, a little bit more airy, not as overpowering as those brick arches and stuff were there. We could bring some of that brick back to life, give it a second life here under this new portico, but give me that one shot. And away I went, I came back with a little 3D model, some sketches, and here you have it. We have some brick piers. We have a blue stone cap on the top of that. We have these beautiful tapered columns. The columns were made by our woodworking shop, traditional woodworkers up there in Berwick, Maine. They did a beautiful job. You know, we're calling this the modern ranch remodel, but it's modern for, on a contemporary scale, but it's not one of these sterile modern, you know, kind of Miami modern. It's modern with that kind of country modern feel. So. We put in these taper columns, which you see a lot on craftsman type um, structures. But one of the things that I did when we put these on is I tried to make it void of detail, meaning we don't have a lot of fancy moldings to it. We just have some really nice clean lines. We have a nice wrap at the bottom. Notice that that sits up off the deck just a little. So if any water's in the net system, it can drain out. It goes up, you know, we have our beautiful soffit. We have our V-groove ceiling up there. But again, all those lines are very, very simple in nature. They come down to the brick piers. Now, believe it or not, these brick piers, if you wanna flash over to there, you can see the pile of bricks there that Bruce, we took down the old portico, we put it over there. Bruce dismantled the old sections, cleaned up every brick and then stacked it for the mason. So these bricks aren't new bricks. They're all recycled via the efforts of the homeowners to put them back into place here as part of the portico for the next generation of living down here. Now, you can see it's not everybody's taste, but there's some wacky bricks here. But that's what the system was on this house. They have these clinker bricks that are a little twisted, a little out of shape that get randomly placed in the structure and it becomes somewhat of masonry artwork. Whether you like it or not, they're here to stay because they're mortared in. Um, one of the interesting things was Bruce got a pier and Joy got a pier and they got to decorate it with the mason and place those clinker bricks exactly the way they wanted. So these are solid brick masonry pier. We have a square footing down below. We're gonna go back to the drawing board. We're gonna talk about these in detail. This has a concrete core with rebar. It comes up, the blue stone here has a hole cut in. We have a six by six treated post, which is the structure. And then this three side unit just gets slid over that six by six, closed up by the finished carpenters and voila, you get the look that you're seeing here. Now, as far as the design point of view, one of the things that I tried to do, we have this very large portico. So I wanted to figure out a way that there was some intentional entry versus just portico porch. And so what I did was at the entry here, you can see we have four piers here that basically line the entryway. These are perfectly in alignment with that new front door that we're gonna put new masonry steps. We have blue stone and concrete patio going in here that'll fill in where all the stones are eventually, but that'll lead you right up to that front door. So there's no doubt in your mind where the front entry of this house is. It actually comes out, <coughs> excuse me, another four feet here, five feet 
to reach out and it's kind of like that handshake. Welcome to my house and then it brings you in and then we have the couple piers over there with some additional portico space. So there you have it. We're going to jump back to the studio. I'll bring out the, the drawings there. We'll talk about exactly the specifics and why we did some of the things there from a graphic architectural point of view and the drawings. And uh, until next time, thanks for joining us. Yeah, so we're over here at Bruce's Play Pit. I say play pit, but I got to tell you, this is some hard work. But basically, the excavator ripped that old portico off the house. And all he did was spin around and threw all the pillars and piers and components of the old um, brick portico here. And then Bruce diligently dismantled each of the piers, cleaned up the brick, and then stacks it nice and neatly over there for the mason to use. The mason using those piers, we're doing a couple entry piers down at the end of the driveway that have some lanterns, has the address number on it and such. But, you know, this is a, a superb effort by Bruce and Joy, the homeowners, to recycle these bricks and give them a second life here on the house.